the walk. After the worst of it, after the days of the black nets that entangled you, that wrapped themselves around your will as you lay in the starched anonymity of the new bed in the nursing home, I see you at the end of the hall, headed for the white vinyl plastic window that gazed directly into the woods, filling with wild green light. You were bent and curved like a fish's mouth, downturned, ferning into yourself as you gripped the sides of the hated walker, hanging like an empty shirt. I know you won't succeed in this, but there's something in the measured gait, the shuck forward, as if you could escape the swelling sky of circumstance if you just kept walking. Like a man who's overdosed and mustn't sleep, you swim your ruined body forward, each glittering step, a sand shoal holding back the sea. And the next two short pieces uh, that I'm going to read are the first two sections of a 12 uh, part poem. It's written in the uh, guzzle form, which is a form of you sort of move down the page with um, interconnected uh, couplets. What I won't say a whole lot about guzzles because I kind of realized in thinking about what I could say, every definitive statement that I could try to make or every clear statement that I could try to make, I could very quickly think of something else that countered it. I think that the tradition is fascinating and rich and uh, I'm too much of a novice to try to explain much about them except to say what drew me to writing uh, these kinds of couplets was I really wanted to try to force myself to move away from such uh, kind of linear writing and thinking as a way of moving down the page. And I really liked the way that each couplet became its own little world and kind of forced me to rely more upon intuition and instinct. So these are the first two uh, and they're set in um, a little uh, fishing village, some of you may know, a lot of you may know, called Capelet, uh, just outside of Shediac in New Brunswick. Uh, it's just, just on the Northumberland Strait. So the sequence is called Nightshade Climbing Limbs of White Birch. One. I waited for you in the dark by the woodshed, the moon's tongue a blue flare in the pines. On the beach road, a wound in a kingly fallen spruce is a home for debris, emptiness filling with field weeds and sand. In the ditches, wild roses, the butterfly's mouth, how long can the summer between us endure? If you come, we'll sit at the table, stars can wait by the window, We'll talk the sky down. Two. You say you waited with me inside you all winter. The vacant glass the night can be. We're sweetly fed, fat from each other's letters scenting our hands. In the morning, I can walk only steps before being accosted the sea's beauty. Once the pockets of my eyes were empty. Now they fill. Thank you so much.